Today, I'm making a resaw fence. I start by cutting the pieces out of the table saw from a half inch sheet of plywood. I end up with a total of four separate pieces, three for the base and one for the front of the fence. After all the pieces are cut, I can start assembling the base with glue and brad nails. I'm careful to align the edges and the corners. Now, I didn't do this, but it's a good idea to shoot the brad nails perpendicular to the piece that you're nailing to to prevent the brad nail from taking a turn in the wood and causing a blowout in the side. This piece, the base that I'm assembling, will slip over the factory fence that came with the bandsaw, and I need to note that I intentionally made the base so that it wouldn't touch the table, reason being it's a little, it, that it wouldn't drag, and also because the main resaw fence, the front piece, would touch the table. And I didn't want the two working against each other. So after the base is assembled, testing the fit as you go is a good idea. In this case, I had to use a small amount of paste wax to make it easier to slip over the factory fence. Now with the base in place, I rest the main resaw fence portion against it, and I draw a line to reference where the two pieces need to meet during glue up. Now while we're gluing and clamping, let me mention our website and social media. Be sure to visit our website and click on the Get Started Here button to learn more about what we offer and also get our free ebook. You can stay up to date with our latest content by signing to join up for our free online community. Also follow us on your favorite social media outlets to see what's happening day to day. We're most active over on Instagram and Facebook. Okay, now that our glue has cured overnight, we can remove the clamps. Now, notice in this next clip, the glue line, you want it exactly on the mark so your fence is straight. Next, we mark a diagonal line across a square scrap piece of wood with a straight edge. And then over on the bandsaw, we cut on that line to create a couple of support triangles for the back of the fence. Now figure out where you want these supports and then mark them, glue them, and nail them in place. I'd like to say here that I took time to measure the supports where they were to make sure I nailed them in the right place. The measurements of this fence is six inches tall and it's 13 and three quarters of an inch wide. It's the same width as my bandsaw table. So now I have a new resaw fence and it works great. Every fence is different, I know, but hopefully you'll be able to make one by following along with this video.